Hey guys, welcome to Slash Rex Games. In our last tutorial, I showed you how to create views. Um, in this tutorial, I'll be finally showing you how to create that HUD. Now that we've created the view, we can now make the static HUD, which is the best kind of HUD. So first, I want to make a font so that we can display our text. Uh, let's find something readable. Uh, that's fine. Uh, let's make this 14. All right. So we're just going to be calling that. Uh, uh, Call that font HUD. Okay, so now we've got our HUD font. We're going to go and create a HUD object. So, object, create object, object HUD. Alright, uh, it doesn't need to have a sprite. Okay, so the events. We're going to have a draw event. And in this draw event, we're going to create two pieces of code. First code is to make sure that the HUD stays on the screen and even when we move and the view scrolls it's not going to scroll with the view it's going to stay dead center so to do this we're going to create the following code d3d and d3d and we say set projection ortho which is for orthogonal so we're going to create a 3d camera that's set to top down mode so it's a 3d camera that is set to 2d mode and here we set uh, naught naught our h res which is our 1280 and our v res which is 720 oh oops and the last naught okay so there we've got it that's the resolution of our screen that off. Okay, now we create the second piece of code over here. And we're gonna this is where we're gonna put all the things. So it's gonna draw something and we're gonna tell it what to draw. So here we say okay, draw set color. Uh, I'm just gonna set this to C C yellow so we can actually see. Okay, so that's the color of the font. And we're going to say draw set alpha. So this is the opacity, you know, how much of it you can see. We can set that to one for solid. And then a draw set font. First, over here, we're going to set the font also. So we got uh, the name of the font was font hud. There it is. Okay, so we've got the color, yellow. Uh, we got it set to solid, so you can see it, it won't be opaque. Uh, and then the font is the font HUD. Now we're going to set the, the X and Y of where we want this uh, HUD to be placed. So uh, because this is a shooting game, we're going to display the ammo. So we're going to have uh, ammo X and ammo Y. And first we need to find out whereabouts we're going to put it. So if this is our view, uh, let's just say 67280. And I don't know, 672, 144. So 672, 80. Uh, yeah, 672 and 80 should be fine, I think. Oh, we can always fiddle with that later once we've checked out if it works. Okay, so now that we've got where it's going to put it, we're going to tell it what to draw. So draw text, and then where? Ammo X and ammo Y. And then because uh, the variable ammo over here, it's a variable, it's an integer really, uh, it's not a string. So we're going to have to convert that integer to a string. So let's have HUD. So here we type string and then object player ammo. Okay, so it's the player's ammo that we're converting to a string that will be displayed. Also, I'm going to make a variable called max ammo. Just say max ammo equals 200. Okay, back to the HUD. So we're going to draw text at these locations. This location, string, object player dot ammo. Okay, then we're going to plus. There we go. So we're going to have like he's got so much ammo out of so much max ammo. So we plus again, and we convert max ammo to also a string object player dot 
max ammo. Okay, and we can always add uh, rounds to show that it's ammo. Add a space here and close that off. Okay, so we're drawing a text at this location ammo x, ammo y. What are we drawing? String object player dot ammo plus the out of string max ammo. So it'll have like a hundred out of two hundred, and then at the end it will say rounds. Okay, so that's done. That's pretty much it. And then you can keep drawing text at different locations for the other things that we had. If it's a racing game, you've got speed, you've got, I don't know, rockets, whatever, alternate ammo, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so now that we've set that and we've got our orthogonal projection, we need to set a depth. Now this depth means that any item set to the same depth as the object HUD will not move with the view. It'll stay on the screen at all times. So here we set this depth to something ridiculous like minus 10 million. So anything else set to minus 10 million will stay with our player and when the view moves it'll stay static on the screen as if it's like right in your face not on the terrain. Okay, so that's all done. So let's test this out. Save. Okay, where is it now? Oh, uh, whoops. We forgot to add it. It's an object. We've got to add, add it to our room. So we've got room one. Object, object HUD. Don't forget that. So we've added it to our room. Don't forget that. Let's try again. Right, there we go. It's in yellow there. It says 100 out of 200 rounds. I'm just going to make it bigger so that everyone can see. Fonts, HUD, uh, let's make this like 20. Okay, so it's much bigger. So there it says 100 out of 200. And every time I shoot, it goes down 97. And it moves with us as we scroll around the screen. It stays there. It won't move. So that's our static HUD. And every time we shoot, it keeps reading what ammo is. Max ammo is the same. And if you pick up ammo, that'll change. So this is always reading the variable object player dot ammo. Yeah, so everything else you put will you know, pop up on this on this HUD. So that's pretty much it. So you add whatever you want. And as you're exploring your zombie terrain, for instance, you can have like how many ammo crates are nearby. Uh, you can have which weapon is selected and how much ammo it's got and the rate of fire or how many mags, that kind of stuff. You put that all on your HUD. And you can move it here more to the right, put it on the edge of the screen, add your own little fancy effects and set them all to that depth and they will all stay static. So as your player moves, it will also move. So it scrolls, it stays in that exact spot. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and rate. If you like this video, uh, check out my channel for more.